This is Allie. And what do you guys think Allie is? Allie's an alligator. Everybody say hi, Allie. Hi. And watch this. Hi. This is very, very, very cool alligator. He's a baby alligator, everybody. He's a year old. I'm pretty sure that he is a he. And the, old, and the only reason why I'm getting more and more uncertain of that is by his size. Boy alligators grow slower than girl alligators do. And for a one-year-old alligator, he's really small. Like, he's not a very big one-year-old alligator. If this was a girl, I'd expect him to be about that much longer and about that big around. So I'm fairly certain this is a boy alligator. That being said, boy alligators get bigger. So the girls grow faster for about the first seven to ten years of their life. Lives, the boys kind of grow really slowly, really slowly, but when the girls stop growing, the boys just keep on going. So if this is a boy, I expect Allie to reach about 800 to 1,000 pounds. And to put all of that into perspective, Stuart, the biggest alligator on display in the zoo over there, we think he weighs about 500 pounds. So we haven't weighed him, honestly, in probably, I don't even know, maybe five or six years. Just, you know, finding a scale and getting an alligator to sit still, you know, is not necessarily an easy feat. So we think he's about 500 pounds, judging by looking at other alligators that weigh about that much. So this guy's very cool. And can anyone guess where? did I get my American alligator? Do you guys know? Where do we get our animals from? Where would I get an African rock python? You think Africa, right? Like you're like, where do you get an African rock python? Well, you fly to Africa, you grab a python, you fly back to Canada and you put them in your zoo. Most of the animals in the zoo, everybody, are people's unwanted pets. So about I, I honestly haven't counted in years. I would say 65 to 80 percent of the animals in our care. We have about 600 animals that live here. Well over half have come from people's homes. Where did we get an alligator from? Somebody had Allie as a pet. Where did Stuart, the 500-pound alligator, come from? From someone's home in Rockland. So our, you know, 175-pound African rock python is from a home off Bronson Avenue. So that's where we get the majority of our animals. In the last two months, we've actually had a, just for some reason just an influx of drop-offs. We've probably had 60 animals in the last two months dropped off. So it's been a very busy two months for us. But that being said, we. We've had so many animals dropped off over the last eight and a half years that we're actually trying to build another zoo right now, almost just to make space for the animals that are getting dropped off here constantly. This is Canada's largest reptile rescue. This is a perfect example of a really cute animal that's not a really cute pet. He's just really cool, right? So he should be out swimming around in Florida though, but do you guys want to pet him? Yeah. Now, if you want to pet him, I will let you pet him. And, and I don't want to give you guys the impression that he bites. Look, he's, he gets so relaxed in my hand. He just goes limp. He's not sedated. He's very used to people. He's very used to our staff. He recognizes people. He knows the difference between people. He knows that's Matt. That's the guy that takes care of me. That's the guy that feeds me. He knows if I whistle, it's time to be fed. He's very, very intelligent, super smart. But I am going to tape up his mouth. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of very young children here. And if you ask a child not to do something, what's the first three things they're going to do? two of the three things you told him not to do, right? So I'm going to tape up his mouth because I will ask you guys not to touch his head. That being said, if there's a two-year-old, if I'm a two-year-old, the first place I want to pet is the alligator's head, right? So I'm going to put this around his mouth. And you guys will see Ali gets very upset. I honestly feel really bad for him when I do this. Watch this. And I apologize if you guys are animal lovers for the struggle that's going to ensue. Watch this. Oh, he just hates this. He goes bananas. He goes crazy. He hates this so much. <laughs> he fights it so much. You guys think he honestly cares? He, he doesn't care. He just sits there. So he's just, he's just very used to it. He knows as soon as we're done, I'm taking it off and we're okay. So I'll bring him around. I'll let you guys pet him.